Hello, welcome to You Don't Know Jack the Ride. How many of you are there? I now know that there are three of you. That makes sense. Let me know if this is the first time... Well, good. I hope you really enjoy the ride. To make your trip more pleasant, our host will give you extra instructions when you need them most. Have fun! May I have your name now, Player One? Very good. Player Two, may I have your name? Dee -dee 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 -dee. Cute! Now, please show us how you spell your name, Player 3. Okay, that's fine. Player 1, see your buzzer? It's the letter Q, as in Quadrophenia. Player 2, you'll be buzzing in on the letter B, as in Bowery Boys. And Player 3, you will touch the letter P to buzz in. That's P, as in Pseudo. Well, that's all I have to say. Hope to see you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by the Five Finger Discount Office Supply Company. Let's face it, who pays for office supplies? And now, here's your host, Cookie. Hey there, glad you could make it. Buzz, what are you doing here? How did you get back up? Stamper. Hey, what's happening in there? Nothing. Nothing. Oh my god. Didn't think you'd see me again, did you, Cookie? Hell, yeah, well, the joke's on you. You can't keep a good host. Ah! Want a bet? <laughs> nice one, Cookie. Thanks. Guy, where the hell did you come from? Eh, from the Hollywood floor. Chasing around like an idiot looking for Keanu Reeves. Oh. Right. Hey, w was I the one who said he was on the Hollywood floor? Whoa, check it out, Cookie. You can still see Buzz falling. Where? I don't see anything. No, no, no. You got to get closer. Here, I'll, I'll hold on to your belt. But I'm, I'm not wearing a belt. <laughs> ah, whoopsie. My mistake. Guy, for God's sakes. What? I didn't. It was your turn next game anyway. Helen, I swear. It was a complete accident. Save it, Guy. Let's just do it. Gotcha. And now, here he is, the hardest working guy in trivia, you You know, I hear there's a full moon out tonight. Hey, just a word of caution, make sure the stapler function isn't on when you hop up on the copier, okay? Great, now let's go. All righty, first off, we gotta give you your screws. All right, you choose, gonna get some screws, here you go. All right, now pay attention, and I'll tell you about a new and improved way to screw your neighbor. When you see a question you don't want to answer, buzz in immediately and start hitting the S key. Let's ask for screw. Now, every time you do, you're going to be firing screws into the screen, totally annihilating the question. When you're done blasting, then you force your friend to answer it. That's called screwing flakjack style. So, uh, if you're not the one dishing out the screws, you better be reading as fast as you can. All right, I hope you got all that. Ready? Well, time to stock up on some office supplies. Player one, give me some buzzer. Let's check out that cat. Whoa, hardly worth it, huh? Yeah, what can you do? This one's called... Jamming in the office supply closet. Look out, here it comes. Considering the person who invented liquid paper, which tagline would you expect to see on the little black and white bottle? It helps stooges look smarter. So easy monkeys could use it. Correction fluid... Hit it, player one. Uh, hello? <laughs> Hey, player two, grab it! Mike Nesmith of the Monkees? Yeah, his mom invented Whiteout. Yep, she also invented Knit Wool Cap Off, but it was banned, because it was discovered to have the opposite effect. Okay, player two, hit your butt. All right, some good cash riding on this one, and the category is... Office Supplies in the Carpal Tunnel of Love. Okay, player one, here's your chance to get above water. You know, show some dignity, okay? If you drive through the carpal tunnel, how will you pay the toll? Player one! Symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome include pain or numbness in the hand. Yeah, carpal tunnel syndrome may take its toll on you, but at least you'll still have your dignity. Then your change. 
Okay, player one, hit your buzzer and let's see what's in the kitty. And your category is... My office supplies sexual frustration. Okay, it's time for a little psychoanalysis. Now relax, I'm not going to ask you about your mother. Just listen to this diagnosis and then type in your answer. Subject suffers from feelings of mediocrity in work environment. Subject's necktie is evidence that he is unable to find a suitable outlet to alleviate sexual frustration. What comic strip character's psychological profile is this? Player one, it's all you. Dilbert, he's got a constantly erect necktie and a mind-numbingly boring job. But I mean, come on. When you got a name like Dilbert, you gotta see stuff like that coming. Player one, hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash for the... Sweet choice, player one. Hey, players two and three, go play with yourselves. Player one's doing a diss or dash. And this dis or dat questions category is Kleenex versus facial tissue. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names. And for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a trademark or a generic term. As each name comes up, if it's a trademark name of a particular product, press one. If it's a generic term for a type of product, press two. And if you're not sure, press four. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. You got 30 seconds to nail all seven. Keep an eye on the wire. When it fills up, you're done. And we're up. Xerox, trademark and generic term. Dictaphone. Highlighter. Scotch tape. Liquid paper. Magic marker. Dictaphone! Eh, five right. That's about average. Alright, there's the current standings. Uh, player one's in the lead. Okay. Player three, hit your buzzer and lock in the cash for this one. Well, that, uh, that sucks. Oh well. Category. Knights that go beep! Here's the question. If you worked in an office during medieval times and received a page, which of these would you be getting? A bitchin' guitarist, a helpful young boy, a book, or land from the king? Hit it, player one! Would that be huge tracts of land? <laughs> Take it, player You gotta answer it, player three. What's the right answer? No, oh, tough luck. <laughs> player two, player two, grab it. A page is a young boy who becomes a servant to a knight with the purpose of being trained to become a knight. May I groom thine horse, sir? Nay, thou hast not completed the collating of yon documents. All right, player two, close it. This baby's gonna be... DKNY Blue. All right, we got a little over four grand riding on this bad boy, and uh, here's the pitch. If DKNY releases a new fashion line called CMYK, what will be special about this season's trendy new look? You'll look like a cosmonaut, only four colors will be hip, it'll make you feel virtually naked or plastic, plastic, plastic. All yours, player one. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. It's a common computer color model, which creates all colors out of these four. Yep, next thing you know, gangs of cyan and magenta-clad urban youth will be vandalizing neighborhoods and looking good doing it. Player one, buzz in. How much? And the category is... Every time the phone rings, an angel gets his wings. Ready? Check out this note that was scrawled out on a phone message pad. While you were out, Bailey Building and Loan called regarding your plan to ruin them financially. Please return call before Christmas Eve. Hit it! Here comes the screw player two. Picked answer three, how'd you do? Looks like your pile of cash is getting tinier, Tim. Come on, player one, player three, do all yours, player one. 
Hey, take a shot, player. Player three, do it. Old Man Potter is the guy who almost sends George Bailey over the edge, and it's a wonderful life. The bastard. Yeah, 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 Mr. Potter, this is George Bailey calling again. You know, I just wanted to say that no man is a failure who has friends. You know, I may not have the nicest house or the, or, or the fanciest car, or I, 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 say, is that job offer still good? Okay, player three, hit your... Sauerkraut Schnitzengruben. No. Oh, for the love of... We're not doing another one of... Ah. Oh. No! No! I hate these! All right, here's your gibberish category. Quit staring at my feet. Well, here's how this thing works. You're gonna get a phrase that sounds like gibberish. You gotta buzz in and tell me what it rhymes with. Now, don't get nervous, but the more time you take, the less cash you're gonna get. Okay, listen to this and tell me what kid's game it rhymes with. Sock gaper is hers. Now or never, player two, start typing and hit it. God, you are hilarious! You should be writing this game. I'm serious. Woo! Oh, you need a name that like reflects your comedic ability. Woo! Here, check this out. <laughs> oh, no more! My stomach is killing me. Oh, please, no more. Let's get back to the game. Woo! Comedy. Hey, player one, you up for it? Take it away, player three. Type in your answer and hit return. one but you did it ah! <laughs> ah, I'm dying here ah! Whoa! Oh, my spleen. Oh. oh man oh. I'm in too much pain to do anything to your score but oh, you still kill me <laughs> ow oh ow oh let's get back to the game Ooh. player one you want it Okay, first clue. It resolves important issues. Not it. What do you got, player one? Type in. <laughs> yeah, at least in my day we played rock, paper, scissors. Now it's probably concrete email cell phone. Player one, give me some bu- And for your viewing pleasure... Manila Wayfarers. Coming at you. Say that to avoid paying import prices, you decide to go directly to Manila to get Manila folders. What country will you be visiting? Thailand, the Philippines. Player one. Manila is the capital of the Philippines. And if you can get a flight over there for like 30 cents, I'll bet you'll still save at least a dime. Player one, hit your buzzer and see how much cash you can make. Heck, there's some cash there. All right, what do we got? What kind of necklace? A lot of cash here, player two. Hey, you gotta take this one. If you give your girlfriend a pink pearl necklace, what will she have around her neck? Pink highlighters, correction fluid, glue, or erasers? Hit it, player one. Pink pearl is a brand of rubber erasers. And we all know where that pink pearl necklace came from, don't we? That's right, out of the end of your pencil. Player one, hit that buzzer and let's check out the cash for this one. Ooh, pretty lame pick in there. Oh well, it's gonna be called... My computer smells like cow. All right, peel your eyes open and see if you can figure out this analogy question. Gateway is to 2000 as Bono is to Vox, John Cougar is to Mellencamp. Player one! Well, you're wrong, but at least you're not attractive. <laughs> Let's go. Hit that S key! Hit it! Hit it! You gotta answer it, player two. Hit the answer two. Let's see how you did. Nope, John added the Mellencamp after he realized there was no way it could sound any dumber than John Cougar. <laughs> You go, player. Babe. You got squat, babe. <laughs> okay, excellent. Good job. Yeah, try this one. The computer company Gateway used to be called Gateway 2000. 
Bono from U2 was originally called Bono Vox. Now, if you two would just do an overblown, overpriced, and overindulgent tour featuring a giant set done in a Holstein motif, that would be cool. Smack your buzzer player too, and let's find out the cash. This one will be. That's some pencil you got there. Ready? Let's pretend this. You're taking the SAT, and rather than using the required number two pencil, you insist on using a number 200B pencil. If you could acquire such a pencil, what would be the most likely result? You dent the desktop under your test player too. Now, looks like that's what normally happens when you take an exam. <laughs> Who wants it? Player one, player three? All oh, yours, player one. Uh-huh, and what combination of CMYK did you use to come up with that answer? <laughs> Player 3, do it! Dent the desktop? Hey, it's the SAT exam, not shop class. <laughs> On pencils, the letter B used after a number indicates blackness. The higher the number before it, the softer the pencil, so a 200B would have the consistency of muddy diarrhea. Let's go, player two. Buzz in and let's see how much cash we're playing for. Welcome to the Jack Attack. I'm going to be throwing a bunch of words up on the screen. Buzz in when you see two items on the screen that match. Each time you're right, you make money. And each time you're wrong, you lose it. Now here's the thing, not any two items that go together are necessarily a match. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Clue pin? You've got the clue. Let's see what you can do with it. Later. Okay, player three, get your fingers out of your pants and buzz in next time. Johnson? Yes, sir? Get in here. Is there a problem, sir? Look, Johnson, I'm not gonna sit here and blow sunshine up your ass. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> Who are you? How the hell did you get in here? I'm the Sunshine Pixie. And I'm here to tell you that Sunshine Suppositories are the perfect pick-me-up when life has got you down. Here, try one. What the? Oh. Oh. See what I mean, Sunshine? Johnson, put your pants back on. Oh, calm down, Mr. Pouty Puss. Here. Hey. Hey. See? Sunshine Suppositories sweeten your disposition in a snap. Uh. What was it that you wanted to see me about, boss? Uh, forget it. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Sunshine suppositories. Spread your cheeks for a little sunshine today. You work hard for your money. At Davidson Bank, we believe your bank should work hard for your money, too. That's why we specialize in turning ordinary, middle-class people like yourself into multi-catrillionaires. Just listen. I started off with a $300 savings account, and two years later, my net worth is approximately $8.2 gazillion. We turned our life savings of $85 over to Davidson Bank, and believe it or not, we now have $16.9 
That's my billion dollars. I, I found a buck fifty on the floor of the subway. I took it to Davidson's bank and huh, here I am, a multi billionaire. I made 48 patrillion dollars. I made 200 ooplitillion dollars. Can you believe?